name is Teacher Jen, and today I'm going to read you a story. It's called Have a Ball. And it's written by Nancy No Williams. What is a ball? You may think that balls are smooth and round, but they are many different kinds of balls. Let's turn the pages and read all about them. What are balls made of? A ball may be made of rubber or plastic. It may be made of metal or glass. Balls can be soft and fluffy and they can even be made of food. What is inside of a ball? What kind of ball is that? Do you know? I bet you do. Basketball, soccer ball, and beach balls all have air inside of them. They are all hollow. Baseballs, marbles, and bowling balls have no space for air inside, and they are solid. What can you do with a ball? What are they doing? Do you know? I bet some of you do. I've heard you're playing. You can make a ball bounce and roll, and you can throw or kick a ball. You can toss it up high and catch it. You can run with a ball and try to juggle some balls. You can even toss a ball and let your dog bring it back to you. Look at them. They look so happy. Which balls bounce? Beach balls bounce over the sand and soccer balls bounce over the grass and into a net. Bounce that volleyball over the net. Up and down, balls like to bounce. Which balls are heavy? Do you know what kind of ball that is? Think about it. Rolling a bowling ball with all of your might. It is heavy. A cannonball can be big or little, and it is always heavy. Which balls are little balls? Do you know what kind of little ball that is? Marbles and golf balls are solid little balls. Ping balls are hollow little balls. You can play hard with them. Put a cotton ball in your hand and it is soft and light and it is also a ball. Which balls can you eat? Any guesses? Maybe? All right. When you want a round snack, have a melon ball or an orange. Try a cheese ball or a popcorn ball. Still hungry? Have a meatball or a matzo ball. What balls are used in sports? You can kick big soccer balls. Uh, we hit baseballs and tennis balls and golf balls. At ping pong balls, we can play croquet too. Footballs are different. They are pointy on the ends. We love to play with sports with the balls. Which balls are used in work? Little balls have jobs in tiny places. You might find them inside your ballpoint pen. Wrecking balls are big and heavy and they crush things. Look at that. Round and round goes the ball. It can bounce, fly, or roll in the air. You can hit it, push it, kick it, or catch it. Time to play or time to work is always time to have a ball. Okay, so these are the important words of our book. Baseball, basketball, beach ball, bowling ball, cannon ball, cheese ball, croquet ball, football, golf ball, a marble, matzo ball, meatball, a melon ball, orange, ping pong ball, a popcorn ball, a soccer ball, tennis ball, a volleyball, and a wrecking ball. Okay, so this is our story for today, and now we're going to go outside. See you soon. So, do you use your hands in soccer? Usually not. You always use your feet, but if you're a goalie, you get to wear these cool shirts that say you're a goalie and then that way everybody knows and then you defend your net. When you're a goalie, you also have oh, these really cool gloves that you put on your hands and they're super tight. And then you have them on both hands and you can catch the ball easier. These are my sons, so they're well loved. 
but in there they have protection to keep your fingers safe so if somebody kicks you when you're going to grab up the ball all right so when you're kicking a ball with your friend you put it on the ground now you don't want to kick it with your toe you could break your toe when you're kicking a soccer ball you want to kick it with the side of your foot so i'm going to kick it to my friend and then they're going to kick it back to me oh. <laughs> isn't that fun and you can do that back and forth if you're a goalie you're allowed to catch the ball but the best thing about soccer is you can play it by yourself did you know that if you have a wall like we do, try not to hit mom's windows, okay? But you can kick it against the wall, and it comes back, and you can do it again. You can actually play it on your own. Isn't that fun? All right, so this is our soccer ball. Now you need to go outside, find a ball, and play. Then you can leave it in the comments what activity you did, all right? All right, I'm Teacher Jen, and I'll see you next time.